the report seeds on a parachute. The technology of greening is presented by Anastasia's dishes and Valeri's dishes. To strengthen the sites of tailing dams and stockpiles, it grows in forests from trees, shrubs and plant grass. Forests regulate and retard surface runoff and prevent the washing away of soil growing on the slopes. It prevents the formation of landslides. Not least is the protection of cities from dust. Not only tailings are gathering dust, but also dams and excess roads. All this requires a universal landscaping technology. Due to the difficult topography of the terrain in Kriverich iron ore basin, the process of greening is especially laborious. It is extremely difficult to tie together an aggressive and hard environment with standard green sprouts. In addition, an average of 55 mm of precipitation per month falls in the Kriverich region, which is clearly not enough for the successful germination and further stable development of the plant sprout. Therefore, the goal of our research is to develop a technology for sowing plants with seeds over large areas, using a natural assistant, the wind, and modern technology, drones. This slide shows the technology of planting capsules with plants. As you can see, the capsules fall on the loosened soil. Watering is carried out after planting the seeds. That is, the exact coordinates of the capsules are required, the processing of a large array of data, and so on. It is difficult to apply this technology to rocks and slopes, although it is progressive in itself. The unique advantages boost the growth rates of developing seedlings by delivering necessary elements directly to the root systems of the germinated seeds. The data collected is used to drive accurate flight plans that not only fly the drones, but also trigger the carbon seed pod and carbon pellet delivery systems at predefined GPS coordinates. Thus, drone landscaping technologies are evolving. The object of our research is the development of a technology for sowing a mining surface with a plant seeds using wind and drones. The work is theoretical and applied. Methodologically, the research based on the well-known laws of mechanics, aerodynamics and conservation of energy. In order to sow large areas with grain and grass crops, it proposed to scatter seeds gains from a height onto hard-to-reach slopes attached to a parachute system of a special design. Thousands of swarms of miniature capsules with seeds lifted by the drone and released by it at a given height will be scattered by the wind over large cultivated areas. Also, miniature wireless electronic sensor devices can be let out together with swarm of seeds on the same parachute systems, which will create a system for monitoring the environment and tracking the growth of trees and shrubs. The shape of the flying platform was determined by us based on the analysis of the results of works devoted to the creation of large swarms of miniature wireless electronic devices for environmental monitoring, population monitoring, registration of the presence of diseases in the crowd, and other applications required coverage of large areas. In addition, the results of works studying the scattering of seeds by wind, as well as modern methods of mechanical assembly of three-dimensional structures, were studied. The capsule in the center of the platform is filled with grain, fertilizer, hummus and a compartment with water, gel. The parachute system is a three-dimensional paper platform that provides the capsule attached to it with a smooth, slow fall due to wings optimized for this purpose. It is the long fall time of the platform that provides a large spread of seeds released by the drone in one place and picked up by the wind. The dimensions of the parachute system correlate with the size and weight of the transported seeds. The average annual wind speed at a height of 10 meters in Kriverich Basin is 4.2 meters per second. As you know, wind speed increases with the height according to a power law. The exponent k is determined by the structure of the underlying surface. For cities with tall buildings, k is almost equal to 0.4. Therefore, in our calculation, k equals 0.4 and the dependence of the velocity of the wind was taken equal to formula 1.
they performed calculations showed that the maximum vertical velocity of the platform fall is determined by the next formula. In situ experiments were carried out to determine the actual vertical velocity of wing platforms fall. The vertical velocity of 3D platforms in our experiments was the value from 1.6 to 1.9 meters per second, which is safe for seeds. The relations between the weight of the cargo with the platform and the final velocity of the falling platform with a diameter of 40 mm was determined by empirical formula. The maximum radius of the covered area depending on the height of the seed discharge is determined by the formula. Another no less important parameter that affects the size of the seed coverage area is the drone's payload. The carrying capacity of heavy quadrocopters starts from 5 kg. Therefore, to calculate the maximum radius of a circle covered with seeds by a drone at a time, it is necessary to set carrying capacity of the drone, the mass of the equipment needed, the number of grains per 1 square meter. So, with a load capacity of 5 kg, a grain mass of 40 mg, a coverage grid a square with a side of 1 meter, the coverage radius will be 300 meters. The height of seed discharge without a platform, in this case, is 60 meters. When placing seeds in a grid with a side of half a meter, the coverage radius will be 150 meters, and the seeds must be dropped from a height of 40 meters. Thus, the criteria of the successful operation of sowing drone are defined. The technology of greening includes five stages. Creation of a 3D map of the area by picturing areas subject to reclamation with drone cameras. After analyzing the topography of the terrain data, creating a seeding plan that fits the landscape best. Drones equipped with tubes that contain flying platforms with capsules that include germinated seeds and hydrogel. Drones fly at a calculated height above the ground. Following the landing pattern, they release biodegradable seed capsules over the slope, located on flying platforms. After planting the seeds, the drones perform low-level flights, picturing seedlings to access the health of shoots and seedlings. Thank you for your attention.